Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and I have a couple different special 100% shell cord of Angina the Foxes. A couple of these we've never seen before and a couple that you have seen before we've put some new twists on. Let me start off first here by showing you this 100% natural shell cord of Angina the Fox. And we made three of these. We're not able to do these pretty much ever, but I'm starting to work out a new sort of arrangement with Horween where they're going to burden themselves slightly and try to pick out some special thin shells before they put any stains or finishes onto them. Uh, and that's not something that they really want to do, but I'm asked them to do it because I have a lot of people that want rare shell cordovan colors on the interiors of wallets. And this first one here is an incredible piece of natural shell cordovan. That's about as light of a color as it gets for the shell. And that natural shell on the inside is super cool. We've done a couple of these before. Again, this is something in about 10 years of us making wallets. We've really only been able to make about five of these. So I put these up on the website. Let me show you another special color here. This is what we're also calling a private stock Johnny the Fox. This one is in the new denim blue shell cordovan. It's a little bit more aqua and a little bit more vibrant of a blue when compared to the intense blue. And that's the color we've been doing for a while. This one has that aqua blue denim blue color on the outside and the denim blue on the inside. And this is the first time I've done one of these, and I think this is really, really neat. We've done a couple extra upgrades on a few of these wallets. We've actually hand stained all of the edges of the wallet, so you get the matching blue denim dye color on all the edges of the wallets. It might be hard to show in the video, including on the edges of all the card slots. And I really like how clean that look becomes where everything is just blued out. And speaking of edge staining, we've gone back to the hits, to the classics here. This is 100% color H.O. Cordovan on the John and the Fox, but on these, we're starting to offer something new and we're upgrading it with all edge stain. I find that the edge finish on this particular wallet, staining all these little parts of the edges, really refines the look of this particular wallet. And I figured because it's such a traditional style, I think it's just a, a little bit more uh, clean and formal that matches the aesthetic of this traditional wallet. We can still make these more of a natural waxed and burnished edge by request, but I'm going to be offering these color eight shell cordovan as well as black shell cordovan now with hand stained edges. So we do have a couple of the 100% color eight shell foxes available, but we also have a couple of the 100% black shell cordovan and all black is also very neat we've done the same treatment on the edges for these where we've hand stained all the edges all the card slots are black all the edges of the card slots are black i really like the stealth out look of this the only thing that's not black on it is actually the reverse side of the shell cordovan that you can see in the bill slot and again we've made a few of these you won't find the black and color eight on the flash sale page these are now our standard item. So you'll find it under the Johnny the Fox section. And I have another special Johnny the Fox to show you. This is 100% color HL Cordovan, but it's all reversed. So we only see the reverse side of the shell on the inside as well as on the outside. And you can tell here why we do that. It gives us a chance to show off the Horween ink stamp on the reverse side of the shell, as well as all the random die marks that we see on the color eight reverse. This particular piece is much lighter than most of the reverse shell cordovan pieces that I see. They tend to be a little bit more orangey and a little bit more red, kind of like on the inside here. But I wanted to show you this light piece. I thought that was really special. So here's what they tend to look like normally. A little bit more orangey, a little bit more red. And I've loaded this one up. I was taking some photos of this. You can see how it works. You've got three card slots on the left, three on the right, as well as two hidden slots one on the right and one on the left. And let's take a look at some of the wallets and watch straps that we're shipping out today. I don't often show the watch straps as much as I should. I should do a better job in showing these because they're very nice. I actually wear a watch band, uh, one of our Apple watch bands in the extra thick Dublin leather. Uh, but this is that same Apple watch band in the color four shell cordovan, that medium brown with reddish undertones. Let me give you a look at the other side of this Apple watch band. All of these are unlined. So you have the shell side facing the world and then the reverse side of the shell cordovan part, that's going to touch your wrist. And the best part about using an unlined strap is on a veg strap like the shell cordovan, all vegetable tan leathers tend to age very nicely. So this will eventually conform and mold around your wrist, but it also smooths out and polishes in. It just becomes a very comfortable strap. And here's another unlined strap. This one is not an Apple watch band, but this is a more traditional two-piece watch strap 
for any other watch. This one is a 20 millimeter lug width, but we also have 18, 22, and 24 millimeter lug widths. We can sometimes do little sizes in between. So if you have like a 19 millimeter lug, we can kind of trick it out to fit that as well. This one is in natural shell cordovan. The natural shell on the watch bands as well as on a wallet, this tends to darken, turn a little bit more golden brown the more you wear it. Let's take a look at the brand new Capone here. This is the English Tan Dublin version of our money clip. We call it the Capone. We name all of our wallets after gangsters. A lot of people have been digging this one recently. Uh, so if you've had a chance to wear one and you enjoy it, or even if you don't, let me know in a little bit of a review. I'm trying to get some nice feedback on this particular model. And here's another piece that's brand new. This is a two shot card case. And this one is in also in English Tan Dublin, but this is a good chance for me to show the difference between the Bison and the Steer Hide. And the Bison English Tan Dublin tends to be a little bit more dramatic in terms of grain character. It has more of these like striations and then little bits of lines of color and texture. So it's just a little bit more dramatic of the character when you compare it to the steer hide like I have on this Capone. Up next is a Tony the Ant in my personal favorite shell cordovan color. This is the Amaretto shell cordovan. And let me give you a look at the color shift that we see on all the shells, but in particular, I think the shift that happens on the Amaretto is really dramatic. So some angles, it's a lot lighter, a little bit more orangey, a little bit more vibrant of a tan shade, and other angles, it becomes a little bit more brown, a little bit more red. And I find that shift in color to be completely fascinating. Sometimes I'll just spin it around on a table like this to take a look at it. I'll give you a look at the inside. There's a Horween ink stamp on perfectly cut into the center of this Tony the Ant. And I have a couple Bugs Morans to show you. This one is in black Dublin. Take a look at that grain character of the Dublin. I really like the Dublin character. And here's the Chrome Excel. And this will also be a nice comparison because the Chrome Excel also has very nice grain, but it's a different aesthetic. The Chrome Excel is very much polished in and filled in and smooth. So you see how flat and even that is. It has a subtle sheen to it, but more of like the texture. If you look closely at the texture of the Dublin here, you can see all that bit of grain detail. Where on the Chrome Excel, it's very polished in, very smooth. That's what they're trying to go for, for the Chrome Excel. It doesn't make one leather better or worse. It's just a totally different look. It's totally up to you. This one has been personalized for ML. Thank you so much, ML. Here's another Bugs Moran and one of my favorite shell colors. This is the color four shell cordovan. Take a look at the color shift on this particular guy. Sometimes it's a little bit more brown. Sometimes it turns a little bit more caramel and reddish. It's a really interesting shade. And for about 10 years, this was my favorite shell color. This one has been personalized for Patrick. Thank you so much, Patrick. Can't wait for you to have this guy. And here's another, this is probably our best selling item right now. The Giant of the Fox in 100% English tan Dublin. So you get that great, orangey tan shade and all the great grain character of the Dublin leather inside and out on this guy. And this is a relatively new item for us. We weren't doing Dublin interiors for a very long time. And I'm glad that we're finally able to make it happen because it seems like people really enjoy the matching of the outside and the inside, similar to how we're doing the 100% shell cordovan foxes. So on this wallet, we have that beautiful buttery, smooth and rich feeling natural chrome Excel on the outside as well as on the inside. Give you a nice look at this guy. And I really like the way this one looks. I think this is probably the cleanest aesthetic on one of our current wallets right now. And I have three Frank the Enforcers to show you. This first one is Marbled Black Shell Cordovan. And the Marbled Black, we get the color range from a darker forest green down to an orangey tan and all the colors in between. If you look at the back side of this one, really love the randomized texture and color on that black marbled and on the marbled color eight. But speaking of color eight, this is color eight shell cordovan on the Frank the Enforcer. The color eight shell cordovan is synonymous with shell cordovan at this point. Sometimes people actually call this color the cordovan color for that reason. And here is the most red cordovan color. This is the garnet shell cordovan. Some angles, more of those red tones pop out and other angles, it kind of looks like a color eight sometimes. So there's a really nice color shift that happens on the garnet shell cord, you can really get a good sense of what I'm talking about there. Very red, sort of cherry looking at that angle. And this angle is a little bit more brown. All right, the last one to show you today, speaking of 100% shell cordovan, this is whiskey shell cordovan inside and out on our long wallet. And we don't make the long wallets uh, as a standard item on our website, but we are able to make these by request and take a look at this huge context 
of shell on the back side here. I really like this really large pattern piece because it gives you a sense of more of that natural character in the leather, especially in something like the marble shell cordovan. When you get more context of it, it just looks a little bit more magical. And even in a normal non-marbled color like the whiskey here, you get a sense of what I'm talking about. All those little bits of natural character, all the highs and lows in color are super interesting. And here's a look at the inside because this is super special. Whiskey shell cordovan on the bottom, whiskey shell cordovan on the top. This is a remarkable piece, and I don't th think I've ever seen this much whiskey shell cordovan on one wallet. And now that we're able to start getting, hopefully, knock on wood, more thin pieces of shell from Horween, this might be more of a reality. Maybe we'll be able to do these a little bit more often. So thanks for checking out the video today. I've got some other special surprises coming up on the flash sale page. You might want to check those out, but I'm going to pick this guy as my stunner of the day. When I first saw this 100%, denim blue shell johnny the fox it just blew me away we don't get to see or we haven't in the past seen a lot of these rare color shells on the insides of foxes and then with the hand stained edges to match the shell on the inside this one is just totally awesome so i'm going to make it my stunner of the day thanks again for checking it out if you have any questions definitely let me know and i hope you have a good weekend